I wanted to do something big, something massive that would really challenge me as a musician and an athlete. So I created the Sonic Divide. I rode my mountain bike 2,500 miles along the Continental Divide from Mexico to Canada. And along the way, I performed 30 pieces of music by 30 different groundbreaking composers in the wilderness. And I filmed all of these performances. And when I got home, I made a documentary film about the event. I did it totally self-supported. So I carried all my own food and water and camping gear and cameras. Now, you might ask, and it's a very logical question, what in the world does ultra-distance mountain biking have to do with creative experimental music? Because, I mean, after all, they do seem like very different fields, but in fact, they're actually quite alike. They both require commitment and vision, and you have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Each one of those 30 pieces pushed me out of my comfort zone as a musician. Just like being in the saddle up to 15 hours a day on remote, rugged dirt roads, day after day, week after week, pushed me out of my comfort zone as an athlete. And those pieces of music forced me to ask some very interesting but difficult questions. What is music? What is a musical instrument? Is a bicycle a musical instrument? If I'm drumming on a log in the middle of the wilderness and I'm singing to the birds and the trees and the sky, is that a legitimate musical performance? The natural world is made up of vibrations, and so is music. What I experienced on my Sonic Divide journey is the very powerful feeling of making music in the wilderness and being connected to those vibrations. And that's something very special that humans have been doing for a long time to elevate their, their spirits. And that's something that we've been doing since the dawn of time. I can't actually believe I'm doing this. And when one among us makes something really beautiful, everyone turns to it and goes, oh. Finally, about 9.30 at night, I stopped after riding 100 miles. So I'd been going since 4.30 in the morning. Two performances, 100 miles. But performing for trees and animals, all life forms respond to vibrations. And that, of course, is what a musician deals with, is vibrations. And it's just incredible the way the music and the the riding is connecting on this adventure. It's just amazing. In the shadow before waking, the old dream. I am alone on the summit of a mountain.
Looking down on a sea of clouds. Nothing but the pale morning satin of snow and the clouds shifting silently as the earth. With a vibration so slow it can't be heard, paces its invisible eclipse. Ah, ah, I am the last man on earth, and I cannot remember my name. So let's all get out into the wilds and find new ways to make music.